other lung cancers for example we talk about cancers which are here taking origin we call them central lung cancer they most commonly histologically they are squamous cell carcinomas or they are small cell carcinomas these are central tumor right basically they have bronchogenic origin right and they are now squamous cell carcinoma you must be knowing they take origin from the well, yes their cell of origin is basal cells present in bronchial lining right and these cells which are present in the bronchial lining if they get metaplastic and they make squamous epithelium that squamous epithelium can convert into squamous cell carcinoma and it is very commonly found in people who are smoking right then another type of lung cancer which can take origin in centrally uh, more commonly more often even though it can be at, at other places but more often here that is small cell carcinoma small cell carcinoma the cell of origin is neuroendocrine cells or we also call those cells cultured sky cells what we call them cultured sky cells then there are lung cancers which are more abundantly present in the periphery of the lung right for example they are present over here they might be present over here or they might be present over here or now these tumors which are on the periphery usually and of course apex is also coming the periphery so these can be there also now these peripheral tumors most commonly histologically they are yes histologically they are adenocarcinomas they are adenocarcinoma and their cell of origin is adenocarcinoma and the cell of origin is type 2 pneumocyte in the alveoli you know there are type 1 pneumocyte which which play a role and let's suppose if this is alveolus there are type 1 pneumocyte right and then there are cuboidal shaped type 2 pneumocyte will and then again type 1 pneumocyte now these type 2 pneumocytes right if they get malignant they make adenocarcinoma right and actually these type 2 pneumocytes are surfactant producing cells but they are also responsible for regenerative uh, capabilities here and type 2 pneumocyte also play a role in defense system or immune system related with the alveoli now what did we learn up to now that even though most commonly we classify lung carcinomas according to the histopathology right but pancos tumors are very different right how they are different that pancos tumors most commonly there are two types of pancos tumor right there is yes squamous cell carcinoma very commonly there and other very commonly tu tumor present over here is adenocarcinoma Traditionally, squamous cell carcinoma was considered most common pancos tumor. What, what I mean by this, that traditionally it was considered that in the apex of the lung, the most common uh, histopathological variant is squamous cell. But these days, adenocarcinoma's incidence is increasing and in many parts of the world, the most common carcinoma in the apical region is adenocarcinoma right now it is adenocarcinoma or squamous cell carcinoma right or even large cell carcinoma right any histopathology all of them are labeled as pancoast tumor they all of them are labeled as pancoast tumor 